Hello comrades, welcome to the fourth installment of the Dennis show. Today we will uh, plan the last buildings and construct and construct and hopefully construct some more. Have fun! So we are here at our little town. Um, road building is going on. I try to run the episode mostly on double speed because it will be very slow otherwise um, comrades are busy uh, every Frank who can needs to go I have some power cranes I think at the border waiting for a pickup yes here they are so because we have no power crane has to wait some more this uh, this world needs to be built um, hopefully somewhat <laughs> what was that did you lost your way comrade okay yeah we have uh, doubled the efficiency of our super storages maybe we will build four of these hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um, some would ask themselves why I'm so stubborn to uh, not build a functioning gravel system, even uh, gravel production. Um, answer is quite simple. Gravel production, full-fledged gravel production will cost 200,000 rubles. Uh, look at our saving state. Uh, I try to honor my rule to have no loans in this one, so uh, yeah, 200,000 rubles for gravel production is simply no no solution for anything. Gravel is dirt cheap. <laughs> nice play of words here. Um, gravel is very cheap and um, if if we are not uh, graveling up the roads like a madman, I think the gravel situation is also not the worst one. The comrades can wait a little bit. I have this set up here uh, to remind you um, to get pressure out of our border. This is a little experiment. Literally a little experiment. Uh, if you can do it with a um, small sized border if everything fails we have a second border here in range even a third border this one where we have to cross this uh, lake or get rid of the lake two options um, and the other very important thing for this playthrough is uh, just to remind you uh, these borders the uh, Dirty Westerners, where we need to spend our Western dollars for um, for things to survive, because uh, no loans is no joke. Um, also, the only power, which is really desperate, desperate times and desperate measures, the only power connection is to the Western block, and we need to get the filthy capitalistic power into our system. I hope the comrades will not uh, suffer too hard to have to. Yeah, to have such a maybe even Green Party power, which yeah, who needs that? Okay, so um, our dumpers driving around are busy, so take another route, comrade. Okay, this one goes. This one is done, I hope. So make me this one and this one. Ooh, ooh. Keep it. Uh, ah, yeah, let's keep it. Um, we need a road from here to there. I think. Let's make it uh, because this is here the bus stop, as you clearly see, uh, which is not connected. Um, yeah. What? Thank you. Um, it's a bus stop, and uh, that's uh, a part of the city. So, do we stop with the city? Gods of the right angle. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Right angle enough. Oh, this one was already in gravel mode, so this one is also 
Maybe we wait with this one. Um, let's pause it. All the construction is halted except for uh, water construction. Um, where also they start to deliver some. Yeah. This, uh, are the concrete mixers online? So no concrete. Yeah, here's the concrete mixer squad. What do you know about your business, comrade? Uh, nothing. <laughs> you know nothing. So, get to know your workplace here. Pick up com. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, the other alternative to this shit setup would be uh, to have at least uh, a small gravel, sto a gravel storage, aggregate storage, and uh, have a uh, loading place because unloading is quite fast. Um, comrade, big truck which loads here the gravel storage has, I think, no big problem keeping. Has a problem keeping up. Uh, he will be fine. But you have seen how fast he was unloading this, so he simply uh, pulls out everything and. Um, I, s I save some time uh, because Comrade Big Truck is only at the border. There are not these small trucks at the border waiting, picking up maybe not a full load but a partial load. This one uh, full load, but uh, some only need uh, maybe a half a ton or something of gravel. Comes to fruition if we uh, start to gravel up the footpath, for example. So this this setup, also it looks terrible. It, uh, I think is more. It's better than uh, going through the border and uh, yeah, and uh, I think the speed also seems to pick up here, so it's visible. Maybe because we watch it, it and the comrades speed it up uh, because they're afraid of losing. What's? Is it the second one which turns around uh, for no reason? Yeah, last episode also. This uh, because. You know, this is a very complicated road system and uh, comrades get lost. So, uh, they get lost, simply they drive here with a high speed of maybe 20 kilometers an hour and now he has to decide, go left or right. And he simply turned around. So, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> entertaining myself a little bit because uh, here is not so much to do. Um, so we have um, here our distribution contraption, where fuel distribution also happens. Uh, it was pulled offline because we needed the, uh, the free free road to build. We have also the tower crates, which can be picked up waiting at the border, like uh, yeah, filling out, having fun. Uh, get me a vehicle, please, because he will pick up anything at the border. What he, what he seems, uh, yeah, what he wants, but uh, maybe not what we want. So, comrade, maybe came back with a lead of uranium and says, "Yeah, well, here we are. Deal with it. You ordered something, you get something. Uh, your fault, not mine." Okay. Mm, we are busy. So, what have we here? This is the. Uh, um, Water treatment, yes. One thing I um, I had a second thought of the um, sewage outlet. Uh, it will be an interesting experiment, maybe. I don't know if I want to start this experiment. Um, because of the... of the... Uh, 500 meters. Should be okay. I hope, I hope I don't poison my people, because I really, really pay big attention uh, to not poison our uh, beloved citizens because they need to multiply, they need to uh, be productive citizens in every sense and uh, I need more little citizens um, because new citizens are, are not the cheapest one, they are also uh, quite, I think the second biggest expense in our little little republic uh, if you only want to work with um, our Soviet citizens and we cannot afford the, all the comrades to invite them here. We um, also need uh, the help of our Cubans. <clears throat> so, 
water treatment. Um, then we have the cinema. Next is the the swimming pool. Nothing special, uh, really. Um, food and alcohol. Also, people need to be filled. Um, so this is the school. Yes, 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 yes. If somebody knows what he's doing here. Um, we have a point here. Maybe let's get to the point hunt. Yes, it's a brilliant point. Um, okay, thank you. This one was temperature. Yeah, and the whole business here. So we are working here. Good, good, good. Um, it's also a farther away here. Um, these long stretches are really nice. Um, working here and here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what does so? Ah, comrade trains have arrived. So, hmm? this one is part of the comrade tr train brigade. So the trains can also move out. Um, let's give him access to the border because he can also help with the uh, uh, open storage goods, like steel or prefab panels. So where is the train to link truck? I think this one is here. Yeah. So he. Yeah. Done your job well, comrade. Go back to sleep. Or maybe we can um, give him a workplace here so he can make himself useful. Himself useful. Um, water secure. We start here. Uh, we have no mechanical components, so let's take a look what the mechanical crew does. Uh, was it here? Yeah, you should have mechanical components. Do we have mechanical? No, you know nothing. <laughs> yeah, I should just <laughs> make a little bit more. Yeah, so he goes away uh, buying uh, stupidly expensive mechanical components. Mm, does, do you know something? Uh, no, no, I think. Let's assign them. They're so. Uh, so busy, so I thought their comrades are informed, but seems not. Um, that looks okay. Um, this one. Yes. This one. We don't want to have auto search on because I want to say when the. Workforce should arrive, but when not, um, it's also overstaffed. So I usually go with mini buses. Uh, explained it in the first or second episode, um, because I want to have constant people on the um, on the working site and not big amount of people. So uh, for the fast uh, construction, I have these uh, fastest fastest cranes. I could go with road cranes, but um, these are three times faster than road cranes. And um, so I save on people power, uh, have no workers at the construction site or a little, very little workers, um, and compensate this with the fast trains. So let's build me this, please. So he will move out, and at the same time here the train, uh, the crane will move out. Mm, it's a standard configuration. I have all the comrades are on auto search, expect, except these ones. Um, these will uh, move out if there's everything at the construction site. So um, the ground construction was done, and they delivered everything which is needed. So they only need here the uh, to work 100. 48 man hours and then it goes to the next construction step but they don't wait for the for the things which need to be delivered here if i start after the first stage after the groundwork stage 
But the excavators work and don't, don't need people, uh, then they need to wait for the delivery of these two goods. Now they don't. Ah, okay, I thought he was stuck. Mm. Okay, uh, what is going on here? This is nice. This is nice. Okay. One thing I think I have... Yes, yes. Uh, so all the buildings are inviting people, which is a uh, problem. Because I have no money for this operation here to invite everyone everyone and his daughter to the Republic. Everyone and his mother, maybe. Yeah, whatever. No people for you. Uh, to recap also the choice of these buildings, these are uh, the big, biggest vanilla buildings and uh, they are very space efficient and they are fast to build and uh, very cheap. Also they have 92% uh, or 91% over 90% housing quality, um, which is on hardest mode also uh, a point of mood. So if you uh, buy flats with 70% quality of 10% less happiness by your people round about. Um, this one, maybe we also can start a construction. I have uh, disabled all construction because I want to have it somewhat orderly. Um, here the water pipe is being constructed by the excavators. We don't need people. So, nearly done. You see, um, next stage uh, needs uh, three or four comrades of the of this society. Yeah, they all come. Mm. Because I make it staggered, uh, I get the goods I need. So he's waiting for gravel. Yeah, he can wait. Uh, it's no problem. The next one is here a pump. The pump uh, waits for excavator and the ground stage. So it's totally okay. Um, yeah. So we can connect here the, um, the houses, which also work with uh, the only footpath connection. Um, but I think they will they work better with uh, road access because some um, some vehicles need to uh, need road access, um, like the hospital and the secret police. So a good access, comrade secret policeman, um, also the regular police. Yeah, we love our people and we take good care of them. Um, this road is uh, going on. So now I start to transition away from maximum road building mode and I don't want uh, our excavators to build roads and uh, build footpaths and uh, factory connections. For this I have the, these ones here. Uh, the little road building crew um, because bulldozers are way faster than excavators so maybe not a ton but they are faster and uh, they are here to build the roads the excavators are here to uh, start the ground stage so for example this building if i start them they will deliver uh, these goods and an excavator and the excavator will happily labor away to make it happen Okay, this, this works, this works. Yeah. High energy entertainment here, comrade. Strap yourself in. Um, I want to have the gravel road to victory here. What do you do? This was there, uh, I think you are here to do this. Yes, you are here to do this. It's not the turn. Yeah. For sure you are lost, and now you are gone. Ah, not his fault, not his fault, uh, my fault, I... I... Off. But... <laughs> yeah. You have to recognize that he's gone, and maybe his comrades also. If I haven't stopped the construction, he would be lost forever and uh, contemplate about his life choices. So... Uh, disaster avoided. Uh, like I said here, the excavator is moving out. Uh, if we are super precise, he's moving here, but uh, let's see. 
No, he's not moving here. Where do we have? He's going around. Ah, he wants to fuel up. Yeah, good one. Drinking all my money away. <laughs> the gravel is. Uh, okay, okay. It's okay. The uh, situation at the border is uh, quite relaxed, but uh, we are doing nothing except starting our construction here. But the construction is running on high gear, uh, as fast as nearly as they can go. Um, and this is okay, this is a moderate sized construction crew, I think, for this job. Um, as I said, there are more than 150,000 rubles went away only to buy this crew. So uh, I hope they are worth their money. But a bigger crew would be an imbalance of spending money versus um, versus the situation of the money which we simply have. Ah, this one is not connected. Okay, I was wondering why they didn't start here. This is a small pump. Uh, I usually never use small pumps, but uh, money situation um, to go with the water treatment. So, perfect, this one is done. So we can connect it. Um, one here, have one here. I'm not so worried about the last mile, so to speak. So if the branches are not graveled up, uh, I'm perfectly fine. It's a job for later on if we have people and then we can uh, take our people to uh, have the joyful life of a gravel crew. Um, because some of these, um, some of these are too short. I think 21 meters is the minimum distance to have a mechanization on board and uh, to simply have it on auto mode. So this one don't need people. The bulldozer is bulldozing away, and uh, as long as he has some gravel to bulldoze, he is happy. Bulldozer. Yeah. Okay. Um, on this side of affairs. Um, there's nothing happening, which is also totally fine. We are busy at this city, but um, we need some additional buildings here. So let's talk shortly about the industrial plan, which we have here. So uh, we have two road loadings. We have a central warehouse where everything is connected. Um, we have two sweatshops, clothing factories. We have one fabric factory, the fabric factory delivers the amount of fabric which is needed for the clothing factory and we start with uh, clothing production and integrate our way backwards uh, to the production chain because uh, every step we go back and produce our, our, it by ourselves we uh, simply earn more profit and um, it's a very crop heavy start um, it does not need any resources you can build this everywhere you want you simply need a little bit place of land and the city to provide the workers um, and the source of crops, which will be at the start of our border post. And later on, we try to be independent of this. If we don't go bankrupt, um, the fabric factory, uh, after the fabric factory, we can go for chemicals, but chemicals are also, uh, we need the university to uh, figure out how to make chemicals and then we can produce chemicals and or we can produce crops so here's a farming area um, the thing with crops is uh, it would be advisable to produce crops because fabric factory uh, wants a big amount of crops to get on maximum production so it uh, will eat around 20 tons of crops a day which is enormous so uh, with the little trucks we have here uh, we need uh, two trucks a day to deliver the crops so uh, we always have at the border uh, trucks waiting to import our crops especially at this uh, super border uh, it will be an interesting thing um, yeah so this is the whole <laughs> economic plan which I maybe lay out in parts or spoke about in parts but um, yeah, we have some time to do uh, the planning and uh, wait for our construction crews to do the construction. Maybe I can uh, activate some more buildings, so I will uh, activate you and uh, you. The order in which we activate them is absolutely uh, makes no difference. Um, 
can uh, be very relaxed. If um, in my previous test of the Cosmonaut mod, I didn't have the problem with any fires as long as I don't have people. I don't know what the race condition is that the fires will start, but uh, because I have last time no problems with fires, I will assume this time. Uh, what what could go wrong, comrade? We know the game; nothing will go wrong. Uh, I assume there will be no fires. Um, here we have the same situation like the pump. The uh, building is ready to go. It has everything it needed to uh, go on the next stage. It has two slots for two cranes. Uh, so we can start our people power. And after this, will the, the <laughs> crane power will follow. Mm. So we have no unnecessary cranes waiting on unnecessary construction sites. Um, and our open storage uh, crew is not so open storage crew talking about steel and uh, bricks and everything is not overwhelmed by the different construction sites and everyone sits everywhere and nothing gets done which is quite annoying um, so we are here Ooh, nice um, 84, 84 work days, so uh, we can send our people here in to do the best. Comrade. Get it. Um, most of the things does the excavator, because the excavator is uh, so busy uh, doing his job, uh, we don't want to disturb him and don't want to deliver any people which we have to pay for excavators for free. The more he does, the more he... Uh, is paid back. Mm. Here we go. Here we are. I think uh, Gravel is still. No? Comrade Big Truck is. Yeah. So. Here we start to have congestion at the border. But it's not the biggest, biggest congestion I have ever seen. Um, the good thing is we have no industrial production running yet, so uh, if the load comes from the uh, fabric import and uh, cloth export, for example, it's uh, quite critical what happens here. So you need to pay attention. Yep. Okay. Ah, nice, nice. So we are graveling up our <laughs> way. Um, we can... Activate our high risk sewage operation. I hope uh, I hope the gods of pollution will not uh, will favor us and will not disturb our people being busy making new people. So he will gr gravel up this one. He should gravel up this one. And he can gravel up this. I mean, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And this one. Because there are uh, only two gravel crews, it's also a restriction of uh, bandwidth for the gravel because gravel is also needed by the uh, construction sites here. Ah! Building is ready to go, so. If uh, this one is finished and we think we have a tower crane under our... Oh, this one can have many tower cranes. Um... Okay, no one gets invited here. Just checking two times. So we can activate this building. Um... To keep our people busy, uh, you see everything is loaded here beforehand, and yeah, so we only need uh, 500 work days, and uh, with one tower crane, which has um, 60, 70, 80 uh, work days, plus a small amount of people, uh, this thing is built like this bit. So yeah, like we can see here, maybe uh, 37 work days. First building is up. Not to get too much of ahead of ourselves, we need the um, power system also, which is uh, still missing. Mm, we have a power connection here somewhere. 
Oh my freaking god. So, um, let me see. Is he connected? Yeah, power substation. He is connected or not. Don't see it, uh, but remember it. Here we have the line. Okay. Let's assume it's fine. It will be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, so, um, our backbone of our power provides sits uh, here somewhere. It sits here. It'd be funny if he himself needs power. He only is here for the uh, water supply, actually. So, um, yeah, this in the town he will uh, provide nothing with power. So we plunk it in uh, at the central point where the water supply is. Because it's a nice fit, they go together. Yeah, or there. Everywhere. Maybe here? What I really love is I, if I put in the power lines, they always are in the way somehow. So, um, one thing we can do is uh, place them near a uh, place them near road. So <laughs> we have one problem uh, solved. Uh, put in the footpath first. Um, second problem solved. Which are important for this operation here. So, uh, here's the water treatment. And here's a pump. Or, oh, yeah, we will pump. Water treatment entrance. Can we have a nice round of construction maybe here? Yes. Okay. make it so, we make it so, uh, I think we make the main walkway here, um, so these are totally fine, can be constructed, um, if combat construction crew has some time. Um, I don't think so, but uh, at the moment it's not critical, the footpaths are really the last thing I need uh, urgently. Um, biggest thing is to keep the comrades occupied, you see they are working nicely and uh, laboring on, I think. We are at the absolute maximum of our uh, construction capabilities, which is nice. Uh, this is what they're there for and this is what they should do. So, um, here is the... Yes. Um, extreme money saving mode. Uh, so not this one. Give me uh, this one. Yes. Operation one, two, three. not good. Another great thing is if you reduce the number of poles here. Yeah. Comrade Polishman. Um, you reduce the potential problems where you cannot pull through a footpath or road. Will happen anyway, but uh, yeah. let's hope it helps. Um, get rid of the footpaths. 
Thank you. So. Yeah, next road build. School build. House build. Next one, please. Um, now we are looking. Uh, here's groundworks. Here's groundworks. Uh, next production stage. Um, so only bricks are missing, so we are starting here. These people. What about these ones? Yeah. Can use people. This one. Can also use people. That's enough. Let them go on. Here, road. Road. Yes. Okay, so uh, next one, um, what is missing on our uh, bucket list is a fire station, which I don't build into the... Uh, who needs a fire station anyway? Uh, not the hospital. Fire station, um, which I don't build into the city because um, if we build it here, we have a bigger reach for everything. And um, the city is 700 meters away, so must be in the reach of the fire station. I don't have the exact number in my uh, repertoire of numbers. <laughs> uh, I think it will be fine. But we have the um, people delivery uh, here on the top. Yeah, I'll make it here, why not? Oh, why not? Hmm. Not completely convinced. Maybe in some utopic future we can have a rail system. <laughs> uh, no. Because these these uh, things are stupidly laid out in some city mode. We can profit from this. And we want to, uh, yeah, maybe so put it here. That will be fine. Fire station, hospital. Um, didn't, haven't seen hospital get it started. Um, haven't seen a hospital around here. Oh, my hospital is missing. So let's lay out the hospital. Along the rule, which is uh, this, this city is slightly in the angle to, to the other city. Uh, yeah, um, I'm totally fine if you're upset with my aesthetics. Uh, <laughs> really, a matter of maybe taste, maybe uh, also capabilities, personal capabilities. And uh, again, repeating myself like a broken clock, or something a broken, not maybe a clock. Or... Ah, lay out this hospital and shut up. Need to. Hospital should be. <laughs> hospital should be uh, reachable by foot. For every sick and dying comrade. So this one is, is a great place. Because they can uh, come here to the uh, back side. Or the front side, who knows. Sometimes the buildings are constructed and you will start to figure out, oh, I will hit the fucking way around, and this joy of focus and resources is in full swing. Uh, 
Ah, nearly okay. Mostly ugly. Ah, this is the power station. Which is in the way, maybe? No? Amazing. Why does this... Okay. Not question it. Split this construction in half, which is also quite okay. So where we start our adventure here? Medium. Maybe we sneak out our way to here. Who knows what will come in the future. Point here. This one here. This is... Uh, mm. I have to live with it. Nice, nice. How we are going on? Yeah, nearly done. What about the shopping center? We need people. Next project shopping center, please. The smaller ones are done. Yes. We can. Yeah. We also can construct these freaking power lines so we can see them. Switch output is in the works. Uh, uh, ah, I'm on the wrong hot bar. This, this. Thank you. Yeah, this is totally fine. Heating. People. We construct them with them a normal road. Slightly longer road than can help it. This one looks not pleasing to the gods of the right angle. <laughs> and it will never be. Um, one thing I found out, if you activate the snapping points, you can have another snap point which is maybe a little more pleasing to the gods of the right angle. Well, <laughs> but this time not. Okay. Um, but, but, um, it is building. This one is building. This is also ready for people to get loaded up. But uh, we wait until they are completely here. To, they need two cranes. Uh, we have one crane in excess. But I think ah, yeah, electrical system is built. <laughs> electrical in quotes. Uh, last mile of the pumping station is built. Yes. Bullshit our way to victory here. Um, this one can be built. I need to assign my people office. This, do this, like that. Thank you. Okay. They do this, they have that. Um. Next building. I think the ground crew has nothing to do, which is a shame. They also can make this building. 
this one is going on. What about that one? Ah! Next building in line. Nearly done, so... Ground crew, uh, people... Uh, yeah. And uh, maybe the one or another will see the point why I'm hugging the border with the city. Because it's uh, terribly fast. They get everything here from this point and um, saving, really saving drive times is such a saver in everything. Especially if you are really tight on money. Mm -hmm. It's like auto build a little bit if you will do it this way. So yeah, that's too long. Um, only thing which really can take time are the roads, but because uh, we started, we have at the starting point little roads to finish and uh, branch off, and every branch has some new buildings to build. Uh, we are fast as we fast can be. I want to have two buildings. I hope the power situation is clear for everyone here. So there should be. Yeah. I want to have two buildings and after that um, I will start working with people. But um, still in the season, uh, first snow will come in uh, of September, November, October, October, November. Uh, we have two months, but we also, before I forget it, can activate our technical, ser technical services. Um, which are not at the forklifties. Uh, yeah, technical services. Guess what? Uh, the free one. Maybe... Uh, contemplate with myself if I build here a fuel station, but I think the fuel station will uh, come where the bus buses are. Or in the industrial, I think the fuel station will, uh, so, yeah, we need the fuel station here. Okay. Mm. Snow plows. So, uh, again, the SKDs are very often very good in the most situations. I fully trust them. Big Skoda fit. Okay, this building is up, this building is uh, in production. Um, how are we looking with the water treatment plant? Water treatment needs uh, groundworks, we leave it alone. Um, this building can be started. Uh, pink, we have, uh, we have two cranes. We we'll, can get a third crane if he wants. Ah, this one isn't. This one is up. Okay. This one uh, need groundworks. Thank you. Um, so, footpath are uh, loaded and ready to go. Groundwork. Groundwork. I think we can start this one with. Uh, Deliverance by people. Ah, shopping center is up. Also, uh, this one can be constructed. 159 working days. I don't know if. Uh, what does uh, factory connection is? Okay, I need people. Uh, I haven't the paver crew or something, uh, because uh, the amount of paving is so small that I don't have a paver and a roller. Nice. So, I think we are in a good way. Uh, first winter is coming. Um, recap the episode and uh, clap it together on the backside like a book. <laughs> um, so we have added here the fire station to our industrial complex. Industrial complex uh, cannot be built because of uh, the road situation. We're still building the roads in a quite 
Not so fast matter, but uh, a tootling alone. Um, this one, uh, yeah, groundwork stage here is in play. This one is a biggie because um, of all the steel. Uh, money situation. So we have, yeah, 650,000. We are nearly half on our budget. Um, and yeah, we have some buildings, but not much, not much. These, these buildings are quite cheap, especially the houses are very cheap. What, what costs by the houses are not the houses itself, but the uh, people you invite. We can start this house for the groundwork stage. Mm, I will start all houses in groundwork stage because um, I need uh, only a few materials into the excavator and uh, nothing else. And if I want to pull them out, uh, I pull them out of the groundwork stage, wait until they have uh, everything delivered and uh, raise up uh, very quickly another building. These are really, really fast. Um, yeah. So city center is <laughs> nearly complete in all its glory. Um, still missing a kindergarten, which will come next episode. Uh, so stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice one and uh, see you next time. Bye.